Want to speak real Cantonese from your first lesson? Sign up for your free lifetime account at CantoneseClass101.com. Hello. Hello. So it's pretty casual, and you don't use it for formal situation. Chou san. Good morning. Chou san. We use it to greet other people before noon. It's both casual and formal, so let's say chou san. Chou tao. Good night. You say it before you go to sleep. Chou tao. Chou tao. Bye bye. Goodbye. Goodbye. Bye bye. In Cantonese. Ngo hai. I am. Or I'm. So you can use it to tell people your name, your occupation, your nationality, anything. Ngo hai. Nei mai meng. What's your name? Say you meet someone new and you want to know their name. Say nei mai meng. That is pretty casual. You can say that to people around your age. Dim cheng fu. What's your name? If you're talking to people that are more a higher rank or older, elderly, uh, you can say "dim cheng fu." Dim cheng fu. Uh, that's what's your name in formal situation. And then people usually tell you their surname. Say the last name is Wang. So, "dim cheng fu." I Wang Zhang. I'm Mr. Wang. 好耐冇见 ，long time no see. Say you bump into your friend on the street. 喂，好耐冇见。得閒飲茶，就係啊，希望聽到時 ，let's get together and have a drink or have lunch together。你最近點啊 ？How are you lately？ 希望聽到時 ，How are you lately？ 好耐冇見，你最近點啊 ？Or it can be used casually with a friend。就係 ，Hey what's up？ 你最近點啊？你呢 ？How about you？ In an exam， if I got a C， it's like， 啊、uh, ，a lot C。你呢？ Like I gotta see how about you. I gotta A. Boom. Guy, please. If someone's blocking you in the movie theater, just tell them. Guy, Chao Dai, please sit down. Don't block me. 多谢 Thank you. Thank you very much for the gift. So 多谢 is for thank you, and there are actually two thank yous in Cantonese. 多谢 is when someone give you a gift. 唔该 Thank you. 唔该 Which you heard in please, so it means please and thank you as well. For this guy, this thank you, we use it when someone do something for us. Someone give you the change. Someone open the door for you, pick up a fruit for you. You say guy is、uh, thank you for the service. 唔使客气 you are welcome. So in Cantonese, it's 唔使客气 There is literally no need to be polite. You're welcome. Say hi, hey. So when someone say, "Oh, I'm sorry, thank you, thank you," say, "I'm sorry, hi, hey." Just like that. Hi. Yes. You are not Olivia. Hi, like that. No. No. So hi is yes. No is no. You are not Olivia. Hi. You are not the sky person. No. No, I'm not an astronaut. No. Excuse me. Excuse me. That is um guy again. So we heard um guy in three situations. Please, thank you, and now excuse me. So um, if someone is blocking your road, you can say um guy, um guy, um guy, and then they would unblock. They they would go away. If you want to ask someone on the street for the direction, you can say um guy, sir, I want to ask you. Um guy, I want to ask you. Excuse me, I want to ask about the direction. Um guy. To catch someone's attention. 唔好意思 I'm sorry. 唔好意思唔好意思 is like I'm sorry, but it's for a really minor issue. Like、uh, someone step on your feet, and they should say 唔好意思 And I'm meeting my friends, and I'm late. I say 唔好意思对唔住 I'm sorry. For a more like more serious situation, for a major failure, you use 对唔住对唔住 is our next word, and.、Um, It means、oh, I'm really sorry. 我整烂咗你部电脑，对唔住啊。I broke your computer. I'm so sorry. 我唔见咗你个仔啊，对唔住。I lost your son. I'm so sorry. I can't find your son. 而家几点 ？What time is it? 而家几点 ？What time is it? What time is it? 而家 is like now. 几点 ？Is what time? 喺边啊 ？Where is something? 
Do do do, hai bina. Where is do do do? You wanna ask about the the washroom? It's like where is the washroom? 洗手间喺边啊？洗手间 is washroom。即系点啊 ？What do you mean？ You can use it for many different situations. When you're mad, when you want to、um, find out more about what the other person was talking about, all confused. So you can say 即系点啊？ To show your confusion or frustration, yeah. 几多钱啊 ？How much is it? Or you can say 几钱啊 ？It's the same as 几多钱啊？几钱啊 ？You went to Apple Store and you want to buy something and you ask 几多钱啊 ？To to ask for the price, it's always expensive. 买单唔该 ，check please. Yeah, you use it in a restaurant. You can do this, and they will understand. That means check please. 买单唔该 ，check please。迟啲见 ，see you later。And the last word is 迟啲见 ，I'll see you later。迟啲见。你好，我系 Olivia， 好高兴同大家见面。Hi， I'm Olivia。Nice to meet you。In this series， we're going to learn basic Cantonese expressions。It's super easy and it only takes three minutes。In this lesson, you are going to learn how to introduce yourself in Cantonese. There are a few different ways to say it, depending on how many people you are talking to. Let's first see how Cantonese speakers introduce themselves to a single person. 你好，我系 Olivia， 好高兴认识你。Hi, I'm Olivia. Nice to meet you. 你好，我系 Olivia， 好高兴认识你。Start by saying 你好，我系 Then say your name. 你好，我系 Olivia. Finally, say 好高兴认识你。你好，我系 Olivia. 好高兴认识你。Good job. Now let's see the same sentence when talking to more than one person. 你好，我系 Olivia. 好高兴认识你哋。Hi, I'm Olivia. Nice to meet you all. 你好，我系 Olivia， 好高兴认识你哋。So what has changed from the previous introduction? Let's take a closer look at these together. 你好，我系 Olivia has not been changed. 你好，我系 stands in both case for Hi, I am. Finally, pay attention to the ending. We went from 你 to 你哋。What has changed is the word for you. In Cantonese, the word for you is different if it is singular or plural. 你 is singular, and 你哋 is plural. One more time, to introduce yourself to one person in Cantonese is 你好，我系 Olivia， 好高兴认识你。To introduce yourself to more than one person is 你好，我系 Olivia。好高兴认识你哋。Now it's time for Olivia's insights. When you introduce yourself, it's a good habit to shake hands. Always introduce yourself to the higher-ranking persons before those of lower rank. In most cases, the person of the highest ranking will be the most elder person. If you use the correct sentence with Cantonese speakers, they are definitely going to be impressed. In the last lesson, we learned the most common forms of greetings in Cantonese. Do you remember them? In this lesson, we're going to learn a very useful phrase. Do you speak English? If you find yourself in a situation where you need assistance in English, this phrase can be a lifesaver. And because you're asking it in Cantonese, you can be sure that everyone will understand what you're saying, even if their answer is no. Here's how to say it: 你识唔识讲英文？你识唔识讲英文 ？Let's break it down. In the last lesson, we mentioned that 你 means you. 识唔识 is a form used to introduce the question using the verb to know. It literally means no, don't know. But this is how we form the question: Do you know how to? Then we have the verb to speak, 讲 followed by 英文 which means English. Literally, it means you know or not know English. 你识唔识讲英文 To learn more about forming Cantonese questions, please look at our Absolute Beginner series on CantoneseClass101.com. 
you can find very detailed grammar lessons and resources there. To make this sentence more polite, we just need to add excuse me, 唔好意思 in the front. Everything else stays the same. 唔好意思,你識唔識講英文? 唔好意思,你識唔識講英文? The responses you will receive could be one of these three. 識, yes. 識, 少少, a little. 少少, 唔識, no. 唔識. Since this last one is a negative statement, we see the negative word 唔 before the verb to know 識. 唔識. Did you notice that it's the same word used in 識唔識? We'll talk more about it in a future lesson. Now it's time for Olivia's insights. For those of you who are not only English speakers, you can obviously use this question with any language you need. Many people in Hong Kong study other languages, so maybe you will get lucky. Just substitute 英文 with 日文 for Japanese, 西班牙文 for Spanish, 德文 for German, 意大利文 for Italian. In the last lesson, we learned some words used when apologizing in Cantonese, including 唔好意思 and 对唔住. In this lesson, we're going to learn numbers in Cantonese. Yes, numbers. 数字 From 1 to 10. And you are going to learn them in only 3 minutes. 三分钟 Are you ready? Let's start. 一 1 2 三三四四五五六六七七八八九九十 Sub. Okay, now repeat after me. I'll say the numbers and give you time to repeat each one. Yat Yi Sam Say Lo Tut Bat Sup. Great job! What is before yat? Do you know? It's leng. Zero. Leng. You don't have any more excuses. You can give your friends your cell phone number in Cantonese. Let's try together. We'll use the phrase 我电话号码是 which means my phone number is 我电话号码 Hi. 我电话号码是 Can you read it by yourself? 9584-9723 Perfect! Now it's time for Olivier's insights. When we go shopping at the markets in Hong Kong, sometimes we can bargain on the price. So learn your numbers well to get a better deal. In the last lesson, we learned how to count in Cantonese. I hope you spend some time practicing the numbers because they will come in handy today. We're going to learn how to go shopping in Hong Kong. Before we go, you need to know how to say how much is it. 几钱啊? 几钱啊? Are you ready to go shopping in Hong Kong? Let's go! You see something you like and want to ask the shopkeeper how much it costs. The first thing to say is Mgai Do you remember what that means? Excuse me. Mgai Gaitina Mgai Gaitina If we want to be more specific and ask how much is this, first we need to know the correct measure word for the object. We'll learn about that in the next lesson. For now let's use the most common one. Go So in the sentence we'll say Yi go as this followed by how much? 唔该, 依个几钱啊? 
該依個幾錢啊 ？Excuse me, how much is this? And to ask, excuse me, how much is that? Again, we'll use the most common measure word go. So to say that, it'll be go go. 唔該，嗰個幾錢啊？唔該，嗰個幾錢啊？ At this point, the shopkeeper will answer directly with the price, followed by "mun," the slang term for the Hong Kong dollar. For example, "sam sub gao mun." What number is "sam sub gao"? I'm not telling you. Okay, okay, it's thirty-nine. It costs thirty-nine Hong Kong dollars. Now it's time for Olivia's insights. It's quite common to bargain in markets. Other than saying the specific price you want. You can also just ask for a cheaper price by saying "pandila, pandila." In small boutiques or shops, you can ask, "Are there any discounts?" by saying "yao mo zi a, yao mo zi a." Great work! Here's a reward: speed up your language learning with our PDF lessons. Get all of our best PDF cheat sheets and eBooks for free. Just click the link in the description.